Gate front. Update. Gate front. Update. Gate front. Update. Alright, so I wanted to skip the the little little opening because we have a we have a big topic to discuss today. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to, to get right into it. Okay. So there's uh there's big news. It's controversial news. It affects a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, basically, Nintendo is saying that they do not want or they they want to put their their fingers into the the let's pl let's play pie. Mm -hmm. uh, all Nintendo or they're they're putting out their their content into the content ID matching system of YouTube, so that when someone tries to put up a Nintendo game like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS, uh, it will immediately uh, catch it and it will put ads on the video, putting the money that that video garners to Nintendo instead of to the people that, that make that video. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, James? What do you think? Well, I the first thing I want to do is say that I'm going to probably disagree with the vast majority of people. Um, and I'm not 100%, like, I don't have a 100% view on anything, but I, I'm, I guess I don't want to call it devil's advocate, but I, I feel like it's not as uh, surprising or bad as a lot of people are calling it. You know, I, I think you you're wrong in saying that the vast ma you're you're disagreeing with the vast majority. I think this is a a hot controversial issue that has good arguments on both sides. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're talking about the is Nintendo right in being able to do this? They are. It's their it's their copyright. They uh, they have the right to uh, to put ads on videos of stuff that they they made. Um, I guess the other question is, is it smart, though? Is it smart? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's a dumb move. I think the amount of money that they are going to get from uh, the ad revenue of, of these videos is so small. I mean, the amount of money that you get per view uh, on YouTube is actually fa fairly small. If you, were, if you were doing really well and you got several hundred thousand sub of subscribers, uh, you can make a, an o okay living, you can be comfortable, but you're not going to be raking in the, the big bucks unless you're, you know, getting sponsorships and stuff like that, like Toby Turner is. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the money that they're going to get from doing this is very small, but what they're missing out on is the free advertisement that they could have gotten from all these big YouTube channels making videos for their, for their games. Yeah, and, and that's I, probably gonna stop. That's probably gonna stop now. People aren't going to going to want to make uh, Nintendo Let's Play videos uh, on the same scale uh, with this new new practice. Yeah, and uh, I would say that if you were putting up a video that got a lot of views, you would make a small amount of money. But Nintendo is talking about every Let's Play out there. So if every single one of them has content ID matches and every single one of them, Nintendo's getting an advertisement on there and getting paid for it, that, is, that will add up. Will it add up as much as releasing another game and working on what they're strong at? If, if, and some people will definitely disagree with me there. But I think that they would probably use the resources better just creating great content that other people can make Let's Plays on. But they will make money. Don't make any mistake about it. They'll if make they... money, but I, I, I still think that the amount of money that they'll make is less than the amount of money that they would have made from the free, the free advertisement of, of, you know, people playing their games. Because from, from what I view uh, Let's Plays as, I view them as the most pure, like, form of video game critique or, you know, review possible. They're just, you, you watch someone play, and we should also clarify, when we're talking about Let's Plays, we're not talking about straight gameplay videos with no commentary. Yeah. We are talking about videos where someone is talking over the, basically, uh, it's the same experience that you would get watching your friend play a game. Are we talking about the same experience when I do an expert walkthrough and I'm helping somebody beat a very difficult yes, game, though? Yes, that experience. Because that's, I mean, some people won't even be able to see the entire game without my help, though. Yeah. Okay. What? Whatever. <laughs> we're we're getting off topic here. Okay. Uh, so back to the top. So my I mean my point was I think that the the free advertisement that they get from watching someone play and enjoy a Nintendo game and say hey that looks like fun I'm gonna go buy that game um, I think that is more valuable than you know getting a whole bunch of pennies and dumping them into a big jar. Yeah. I mean I can understand that. It's uh, to me I feel that. 
that sometimes Nintendo might have a risk because some of their games might not be great enough to play. Uh, so maybe they... They almost always are. Nintendo has a great track record. I don't know if you've played a lot of Nintendo games. They're usually pretty great. I've played a lot of <laughs> Nintendo games, and some of them are really good, but some of them I just don't connect with. But then again, I'm not going to watch those Let's Plays. Uh, because it's just not my style. I'm sorry. I like something that's really creative, like Call of Duty. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, Shut I'm trolling so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, no, I, I see where you're coming from. It is good advertisement. There are times where I'll watch a gameplay and I'll be like, that's the kind of game I want to play. And I'll pick it up and I'll purchase it. And I think that that's a smart advertisement move to let people play. Uh, we get that comment all the time. Whenever, whenever we're playing a game, all the time people say, hey... You know, I bought this game because you looked like you were having so much fun playing it. Mm -hmm. So, that, I mean, that's that's where my thought comes from, that I think this free advertisement is more valuable than, like I said, taking a whole bunch of jars of pennies and putting it into one big jar. Yeah, what I think, I think that Nintendo has, is doing something that's interesting, and that's content ID matching, putting advertisements on there. But I think, and maybe it's not even technically possible, but instead of just monetizing stuff, what if... And I don't know if it works this way, but I'm just trying to feel like how could all parties be happy? What if they could find in Content ID Match games that are their footage and then simply have it where it's one of those, you know, invisible annotations like you click on it and it brings you to a place where you can purchase it from Nintendo. And that would hopefully not be some giant advertisement on the screen, but something where at least they get some sort of traffic to them, some sort of appreciation, because, let's face it, a Let's Play, like, you are doing a lot of, of stuff in there, and you're being creative, and it's your personality uh, being entertaining in a video, but you couldn't have that without the other. You couldn't have it without Nintendo's games. Without the game that you're playing, your commentary would be as this. And, and this, this, people like this, and this is enjoyable. We don't have to share this with anybody. Um, the, uh, the monetization of that, and I think that that's right. It would be silly if all of a sudden, uh, because I have you have this shirt on, well, Marvel's like, oh, well, we want content ID match. Uh, those are some Bored. Marvel characters. <laughs> I mean, that's that. I mean, that could have, with the wrong kind of legislation, that could be an issue. Mm -hmm. But I think that a happy medium would be either allowing content ID match to help the the owners of the the games um, that content. Uh, reach an audience that may be interested in buying it. Like maybe it goes into the, like automatically fills into the uh, description where you show like a link of how to buy the game. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're making a movie, and I know it's different from a let's play in a movie, trust me, I know there's a difference, but you're not just paying the actors, you're paying the guy behind the camera, you're buying the camera, which is I guess essentially like buying a system in a game, but you're paying the extras that don't say anything in the background. Everybody has to have a small piece of what they put in there. Um, so I'd like to see a way that, that it can directly help them, maybe not with advertising dollars, but maybe with, uh, with a better push towards their product. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair point. Um, I think another, another aspect to look at in, in this whole thing is the response that indie developers have, have had to this news. Uh, it, it's interesting because... Indie developers know that any advertisement that their game can get, you know, is great. Uh, the d developer of Thomas Was I Alone, I believe, recently tweeted that without YouTube Let's Players, there would be no uh, Thomas Was Alone. There, it would be a flop. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I believe, was it Total, Total Halbit, when he did his, his video showcasing that game, uh, he said that the sales for it, for Thomas Was Alone, uh, skyrocketed about eight times. Wow. Yeah. So, this is something that is real, uh, game developers. Let's Plays are a thing that you can use and embrace to increase the sales of your games. They're not something that you should really shun, I don't think. Um, and I think indie, de indie developers have realized that. There's a couple of uh, indie developers out there. I think uh, the developers of Super Meat Boy have made a post on their, their website saying that if you want to, you know, do videos of our games, please feel free. You don't even need to ask. Um, and there's a couple others that have, have done similar things. And I think it's something that the, the AAA developers need to look into and consider as a viable marketing option. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that I, and that's why I think that this is not a smart move by Nintendo. Yeah, I don't necessarily know if it's a smart move, and I don't know if they thought it through as much as they may have done something that they didn't realize would have as much of a re repercussion, and their immediate reaction was defensive, which is understandable. It's human nature, and as Romney would say, companies are people, and that company's front was probably just coming out to be defensive on it. I think that they, with this situation, they're going to be a little bit more... Uh, they're going to have to think about this a lot. This is not going to be something that just goes under the water. Mm -hmm. There's going to be uh, under the bridge. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it, they're going to have to think about this quite a bit. I don't know if they're going to change their stance. But I, uh, here's, here's something for myself. On my, on my personal channel, I'll, I'll have had put up videos on there where um, it gets content ID matched with uh, the ma background music, which in my mind, I'm like, man, the idea of content ID matching is because people are using your content to, to entertain someone. I don't feel that anybody's coming like, oh, we're having a party tonight, let's get some music, let's go to James's playlist, uh -huh. and let's all dance to that. I feel like that is much more frustrating to me, having these arbitrary uh, content ID matches compared to where I feel like legi legitimately, whether you agree with it or not, uh, Nintendo does have a right to their their content that's on there. Yeah, yeah. the The technology is is pretty impressive about how how quickly and how accurately they can catch uh, the you know copywritten content. But at the same time, it's so accurate that it doesn't really um, it doesn't differentiate if it's like just the song. Like, let's say I'm a, a rock band and I put out a song. I don't want people to put my song up on YouTube, monetize it, and make money off of my song. Yeah. So I would put that content ID, that ID there and make sure that if someone is trying to do that, that I make money off of it. I make money off the views that they, that they get for that video. But at the same time, let's say you know a video game is using my song uh, and it picks up that video game while there's, there's still gameplay music, while there, or while there's sound effects, while there's commentary. You know, that's that's frustrating for the person who puts up the gameplay video because they're not trying to to cash in on the, the money that, you know, the the songwriter yeah. is is entitled to. Now, do you think that that songwriter would be more appreciative if, if you went into the uh, options and, like, completely took away the music? Then they wouldn't be heard by anybody. And I'm sure that some groups would be like, well, I don't care. Uh, I've got enough fans as it is. But I feel like hearing a popular band in the background that you might like would be like, oh, I like that band. I'm actually going to play some of their music for real. Yeah. And maybe buy an album or listen to it on Spotify, which I don't think people get a lot of money for, but you do get revenue from that. Mm -hmm. So I, I just think that that's, I'm more frustrated with that situation of content ID matching than I am with the others. Yeah. I just wish that the technology, I mean, the technology is really good. It's really impressive. I just wish it was better. I wish uh, it could isolate, you know, incidents where, you know, let's say gameplay was without commentary, it was just straight gameplay that someone was trying to make money off of. Uh, I wish those videos could be, you know, monetized for the company. But I feel like if I am making a gameplay video and I am using my, my commentary and people are watching the video because of my commentary, not necessarily because of the game, you know, maybe the game's an aspect of it, but they, they watch specifically my video because of my commentary, I think that's that's my my content. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like it's it's ar it's arguable that that although and it's, it's, I, let me I'm sorry let me just say I know it's not you know black or white I yeah know, it's, it's very I'm, gray that's where I'm but that's that's how I feel about it that's that's how I feel also I I'm surprised I thought from from the feel of it there's so many people that when they're out there talking about this are so and maybe it's just the way that I read stuff they seem so angry on one side uh, or the other I've mostly read people being angry at Nintendo and I'm not even a Nintendo fan but I just feel like it's important to uh, to look at, at it in a different way mm -hmm. yeah alright uh, well that seems like a good place to, to call it for today yeah so, thanks for watching the Gamefront Update. Let us know what you think in the comments, please. Uh, this is a hot issue. It's, it can go either way. Uh, we want to hear what you guys think. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.